then go to my final guest and it is important because if there is one state that is standing out and showing the way it is kerala total case is 364 large you would think but that's just two cured 123 so they've got mortality under control and therefore kerala is now being seen as a possible model for the country what has kerala done and what is this kerala model of a possible phase out plan out of the exit route i'm joined now by kerala's health minister kk shelja or shelja teacher as they call you there in kerala ma'am thank you very much for joining us after today's meeting with the prime minister do you or does the state of kerala have a clear plan heading into the future is the phase out plan that you have in place where the lockdown will be eased after in the next two weeks is kerala thinking about a easing of the lockdown or you will go by what the center says yes uh, we are planning uh, actually our uh, honorable chief minister said that after the decision uh, came from uh, uh, prime minister that uh, we should think about uh, uh, something according to the uh, state's uh, conditions and we should have to plan more uh, today prime minister ji uh, have some discussions with the uh, chief minister since uh, various states and we also expressed our idea and our uh, concerns and our possibilities to uh, prime minister and uh, prime minister said the honorable prime minister said that we should have to extend the lockdown to up to april 30th mm -hmm. uh, 30th but uh, each and every states had to uh, had their own uh, decisions and plans according to the right. central plan and uh, prime minister also said that we have to categorize the places uh, like uh, uh, categorize as zones like red zone and um, green, yellow zone and green zone in green zone we can have some dilutions in the uh, strict stringent actions and strict mm -hmm. directions that uh, we can uh, done in st according to the states and in red zone we sh uh, should have to continue the stringent actions further uh, up to 30th uh, uh, lockdown is there but uh, in zones zone wise we can take other decisions uh, uh, in uh, in each and every no, state all, and all we are you also thinking our ma'am all you ministers who have gone in the meeting are giving us a very important news point there could be zone demarcation in india red yellow and green zones now ma'am i know that the kerala government had also proposed a three phase plan similar kind of plan depending on the extent of virus in a particular uh, zone or district will this zone demarcation be done after the 30th of april or is kerala planning to introduce it right away with the focus being on red zones and other areas you will allow movement when will this plan come this phased wise plan zone wise plan the stringent action is continuing up to april 30th prime minister said like that but at the same time prime minister uh, pointed out that uh, we have to save the lives of the people at time we have to uh, have some livelihoods etc some problems will arise uh, for that thing uh, we can decide without uh, loosening the uh, our action stringent action we can take some decisions in some places that is the sense but uh, uh, today uh, a final decision is not taken and uh, we think that within these three days uh, up to 14 the prime minister will give some guidelines and uh, some decisions uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow we are thinking like that uh, you know while you talk of these phases ma'am that states like kerala want to go through what happens to expats and this is not just about kerala but i'm asking you because kerala has a large expat population especially those in who live in the gulf they want to come back home do you see public air transport returning now after this 15 days what when do you see in that sense some element of normalcy coming yes that's a <laughs> that is a very good uh, very important thing to attend uh, I, we are waiting what is the what is our country decide about that and we should have also take decision according to that if they return to our uh, state we cannot deny that but uh, it will be a huge number mm -hmm. we should have to take precaution uh, to save them and save the other people here and uh, strict quarantine should be there mm -hmm. we are thinking about that strict quarantine uh, and we can't predict how much people may return after uh, some kind of decision uh, like that.
Ma'am, I, I, I need to ask you this. I keep saying what Kerala thinks today, India thinks tomorrow. You managed to control relatively, particularly mortality rates. What is this Kerala model everyone is talking about? What is it that Kerala is doing right in your view that other states could now emulate? We are not saying ours is the uh, in, uh, uh, last word. Every state is trying hard to come out of this, uh, uh, this virus uh, attack. But Kerala planned more, planned earlier, we can say so. We planned everything in earlier. Uh, when the Wuhan thing occurred, at the same time we planned everything and we are waiting whether they are coming from Wuhan or not. Definitely as we expect they come. At that time we have all the plannings and also in a decentralized manner we planned everything and our Honorable Chief Minister and our Ministry uh, planned it like that. All the convergence of all depart line departments, CM is taking everyday meeting and everyday uploading these things and uh, everyday reporting like that. And uh, the teamwork, all the department with the health department, that teamwork, uh, I think that is the uh, history, uh, that, that is the right. secret behind, the, behind our victory. It is not full victory, but uh, uh, we have got some enthusiasm out of this teamwork. You know, for a minister today to say that they are even potentially in a, uh, uh, in a position to claim victory over corona, that's a big thing in itself. But you have, as I said, managed to control the numbers, doubling only taking place every nine days. And I'm told that's the best in the world at the moment. Thank you very much, KK Shelja, for joining me today. We've got a Thank sense you. of what's happened on this big Thank day you, when Thank the you. Prime Minister has met several ministers. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.